Hi, Casper here on the 8th of January 2020. Um, just done a review of the white wine from this winery. I've sent them as a pair and uh, what a lovely pair they are. This is 2016 vintage, uh, great variety, Susu Maniello. Isn't that a nice word to say? Susu Maniello. Uh, so yeah, we're uh, Cantine Boccantino. Boccantino. Um, Susu Maniello, um, really indigenous to Puglia. And indeed, that's where we are, uh, down, right down the heel of Italy. Um, don't know much about Susu Maniello other than that I love saying the word, but um, what have we got? Quite a deeply coloured wine here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's deep ruby red. It's um, a rather interesting nose. It's earthy nose, a hint of cocoa. Red fruit in a sort of pastel like format, sort of slightly uh, it's real earthiness to it. Nuttiness. It smells it smells fresh and there's notes of bramble bramble pastel plum and um, pepper. Have some dried herb aromas. It's it's a nice thing to smell. It's got real real presence and a bit of even a bit of presence a bit of complexity to it. Some it it's something high toned in there and a little bit of sort of almost pond weed aroma. It's it's most unusual. That's all I can describe it as, and it's. Certainly not unpleasant. In fact, it's a very delicious thing, smelling thing altogether. Let's have a sip. Mm. Well, you can always taste the southern sun in that. It comes across with this lovely, sweet, not 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 over the top in any way, sweet ripeness uh, up the front, and it's saved by this earthy mineral sort of structure that comes from comes from within it's quite fresh enough it's it's um gosh it's a real pastel thing about it mm. really joyous dark fruit about it and as i say that tannin comes through and is slightly tacky but upright it gives real drive and, and direction to the to the palate. It's a nicely long thing. It becomes increasingly nutty with that tannin through the palate, and the palate dries with slightly with the tannin, which makes me think, you know, have it with some some a bit of food and um, wild boar. It's essential. Um, ah no, red lamb. Gosh. Um, Beef, if you if you want to, but venison would be super with this. Um, casseroles and stews, and um, it's quite a big big food. It's it's a big wine, but it's not an unsubtle wine. You know, it's not clumsy in any way. Above all, it's very delicious. Dry spice aromas, licorice even. Um, so it changes really almost every time you go back to it. You spot something else, there's dried herbs and um oh. Yeah, I mean it's got that joyous ripeness to the palate, but it's it's not over the top. It's not certainly not a shrinking violet. Um but nice acidity held within, nice juiciness within which um keeps everything in focus. It's it's a really interesting thing. Um, gosh, I'm, I'm liking Cantine, Boccantino wines. I think that's got Daily Drinker written all over it. So again, um, Daily Drinkers will be seeing it soon. Lovely Susa Maniello. I'm going to say it again because I like it. Um, delicious.